Hey everybody, it's Harry from Stuff with Eddie Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so we can spread barbecue love. You guys always wondered and asked me, Harry, how do you come up with all these crazy ideas that you have? Well, you're in for a treat because today I'm going to talk you through my crazy mind and what I'm going to be doing with this chicken with a few of my favorite ingredients that I purchased from my local Walmart. I have uh, some of uh, my favorite Jimmy Dean hot sausage, some uh, jalapeno bologna, I got some bacon, some uh, Louisiana hot links and some cream cheese and I have a chicken. So most people would probably just put this in the oven but not me. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of a French combined with redneck hoity-toity type of a chicken dish. We're going to be doing today a redneck chicken galantine. We're going to debone the whole chicken, show you guys how to make a bundle out of it called a valentine or galantine. Cook it in the pit to have a redneck style chicken dish to amuse your friends. probably wondering how am I going to get all the bones out of this chicken to create a little boneless bird so we'll show you guys what we do let's begin by showing you guys what the tools you need you need a chef knife and then a boning knife and these are the two tools you need you're actually gonna go and be making only a couple of cuts and uh, the reason for this big knife is we need to crack the bone but for the most part we'll be using our Dell Strong Quantum Series boning knife if you like these kinds of knives from Dell Strong, uh, these are really nice folks and go check out some of the uh, links I have in my Amazon store. If you like these kinds of knives, this is a beautiful Dell Strong Shogun series knife. I'll show you how to debone and uh, stuff this bird, kind of the redneck style. First thing you want to do is uh, let's cut off the uh, wing. So, hold it over. Find the joint, cut through the joint like so. Then we want to make a little lollipop from it. So you're going to do it this way. Take it there and bend it over like so. Grab it and break it like so. And pull it. So, and pull it back. Put your hand here like so. Push it back. Pull back in the meat so that the bone is exposed and then you can kind of wriggle out this piece of bone here so so we can take this out and we have this piece here we're gonna cut it off so and you're gonna fold this back and you make yourself a little lollipop do on the other side and we have a little snack for a little bit later when we cook the chicken now this though you don't waste these these are going into the stock pot okay so that takes care of the uh, little two lollipops let's go ahead and uh, remove the wishbone the wishbone is right here if you take your knife separate the skin a little bit you can reach into the wishbone make a cut you can feel it Put your hand here, you can feel the wishbone right here. Let's make a cut on the left and right side of the wishbone so that we can get the wishbone out. You've seen me do a turkey carving and uh, you know, I'll show you guys how, how a turkey is done. So it's a similar technique here. Just get the wishbone out so it makes life a lot easier. Bring your hand here, try to break the wishbone. Be careful, sometimes the wishbone is broken and it won't come out properly, but you can see on this one here, it came out nicely as a wishbone. Let's uh, now begin to take apart the chicken. Let's make a cut down the back spine like so. So we have this shoulder joint here. Let's pull the skin back so you can see it. And what we want to do is we want to run our knife, which is a boning knife, right down where the joint is like so right here. You can see it here. So you run your knife like so. If you're not sure, just wiggle it a little bit. You can feel the joint here, giving way here. So there's no force needed. So, and then the 
shoulder comes off. So, you can pry the carcass off like so. And get it all the way back until about the uh, oyster, which is about back here. You kind of want to stop around the oyster right here. Okay. Same on the other side. Find the joint in the wings. Pull the skin back a little bit. until you get to about the oyster right here. So we got most of the meat off the rib cage. Don't worry about the chicken tenders. We're gonna pull them out a little bit. Separate the chicken this way. And you're gonna stop at the oyster and uh, we're going to break the joint right here where the, where the thigh bone meets. So you fold it backwards. And you can feel the joint and you don't need this hard pressure just kind of wiggle your knife in there it takes it apart breaks the joint and the joint comes right off okay let's do the same for the other side flip it over where the oyster is fold the leg fold the leg like so forward move it forward Peel it back and expose the joint here. Run your knife right behind the oyster where the joint is. Take the way to the back. And then pull. And you can see the joint right here. Run the knife through it. A little bit of sinew. Cut it. Let's get the chicken tender part out. So all you need to do is just run your finger through it, so push it down. And uh, here's the uh, tenders, and uh, there's a little sinew here. You wanna kind of get this off. You can scrape it. Just put your paper towel, kind of like a rib. Hold the hold the tendon and the sinew. Just slide it. Slippery. Let's grab it. Paper towel, slide it like this out, and you have a little sinew there, right there. And we're gonna put, put this part back in the chicken tenders. Same on this side here. Run your finger down the sternum. So push the tenders away from the breastbone. Get as much meat out as you can, and we've got the little tendon here it out and that's the sinew. So I got my chicken tenders here. I got my carcass and the carcass is ready to go into the stock pot to make uh, chicken stock. So we have our chicken now, knee bone. So all we need to do now is get the thigh bone off and uh, drum bone off and I'll show you guys how that's done. So right here on the wing base, just make a cut around. Scrape the bone a little bit, get the meat out, and then just push from the other side, just like that. Hold it down and push. And voila, the bone comes up. Let's repeat for the other side. All right, hold it down, push, and it comes right out, just like that. Okay, let's move, work on the leg joint here. So leg joint is, uh, you have to start with where the base is. Take your knife and cut around it. Be very careful. Don't cut yourself. I uh, teach classes and I do a lot of cooking. Uh, so I cut myself uh, on the average once a year. Uh, if you can, you can always wear a cut glove. And uh, if you look at my Amazon store link below, you see a link for a cut glove. So what, what I'm gonna do is running my knife around the edge like so. I'm just scraping the meat so I can clear the bone. Push my way down. Scraping against the bone. All right, once I get to the uh, joint, I'm gonna kind of cut around the drum joint, drum to the thigh joint, like so. Just take your time, no rush. When you're doing this the first time, don't uh, rush it, just take your time. Always remember, keep your knife edge away from your hands. Very important. Work your way around the bone. 
get to the other side of the drum bone. And once you get to the drum side, you can go ahead and run your knife down the scraping the bone like so. All right, when you get to the end, right, uh, resist the temptation to cut it because uh, what you're gonna do be doing is uh, you wanna preserve it so that you can uh, re preserve the meat at the end of the bone so it doesn't shrink when you cook. So what we're gonna do is roll it back up like that. Go back to the other side. This is where you need your back of your uh, big chef knife. You're gonna take a crack, and crack it right here. So, right. and then we're gonna push the bone back out. Anyway. The uh, drum bone and then the thigh bone completely deboned. We'll save it for stock. Let's repeat on the other side. If you don't wanna watch this, you can fast forward. So the first time you do this, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you've done it a couple of times, it's not that hard. You can uh, do the same thing for a duck. You can do the same thing for quail. Uh, you want to cook a, a bird, uh, any kind of bird is fine. You can also even do this for turkey. It's just a little bit more work, but it can be done. If you guys want to see me do more birds this way, let me know. But I like playing with knives, so for me, this is fun. Uh, not a chore at all. And uh, always good to learn new methods. This method actually uh, is French, uh, popular in the French cuisine. Uh, the famous chef who does this in uh, online videos is uh, Jacques Papin, and I have his cookbooks. He goes back to Escoffier. Escoffier is one of the oldest uh, cooking books from France, and uh, they teach this technique. If you go to a high hoity toity, uh, I guess, a chef school, they'll teach you this technique. But I, I don't have any uh, credentials. I'm a total quack, so I kind of like MMA. I just will use whatever technique I can to get to the final result. I wanted a uh, redneck chicken, so I'm gonna make my own style of deboned chicken. Okay, we'll get to the bottom of this, see that? Now, flip it over. So, stick the crack like so, right here. Broken. And just ease it out gently like so. Try not to hurt yourself, there's some sharp bones here. Just like that, okay? This goes into soup stock. So we have our chicken ready to stuff and uh, show you guys uh, my little redneck style stuffing. But before that, let's uh, show you guys how to put the, some of the parts back in order to get a kind of a flat surface to roll it nicely. But you can see the chicken is completely deboned. I hope the lens is okay. You can see it here. All right. And uh, these little two bones here, you can cut it off after you uh, finish cooking. Lay it out flat. So, so if there's a lot of breast meat here, uh, you can go ahead and make some cuts here. So it flattens out a little bit, right here. Flattens out a little bit. And uh, I have a gap here, so I'm gonna take my uh, tenderloins right here, tuck it right here, fits perfectly. Tenderloin piece right here. Some excess meat, we stuff it here. And we're ready to make our stuffing. We're gonna stuff it now. I'm gonna use some of my favorite ingredients. I'm a bologna guy. I'm gonna line it with bologna. You're wondering why it's called redneck chicken? You're getting a clue now. It's getting warm. All right, uh, I like bacon, so bacon goes on. I like sausage, hot links in this case. Cream cheese, can't go wrong with cream cheese. Of course, we need some uh, Slap the Daddy chicken rub, first place USA, and some Jimmy Dean hot sausage, my favorite. You guys have seen me make bad fatties on my channel and on my YouTube channel, so you know that uh, fatty is a kind of a staple among the barbecue community. I'm gonna stuff some of the sausage right into the cavity here because uh, I wanna make sure that the thighs are kind of plumped up. So a little bit of uh, the stuffing goes into the leg so we can keep the leg kind of, kind of firm. So you can uh, pretty much stuff with anything you like. Today I'm using uh, the uh, Kind of redneck style you can put uh, a, even like a spinach ricotta cheese uh, a lot of times when i make this i'm too lazy i just go to costco and sam's club and i buy that spinach artichoke dip and i just kind of stuff it here 
And this is always a crowd pleaser because uh, it's not that hard to make. You saw me debone the chicken probably in what, less than six, seven minutes. I, I did slow down because I was shooting a video, but it's not that hard. That looks pretty good. You can put more or less of everything you have. You see I have me here, uh, depending on kind of what you like. A little bit more seasoning at the end here. Excellent. All right. Okay. Looking good, I think. Uh, so the next thing you want to try to do is roll everything back carefully. So. Hold it over. Use the skin as kind of like a sausage stuffer. Hold it over like that. And uh, some of the neck here, just push, push some of the meat back so that you can have a nice flap over the neck like that. And we'll go do a flip like so. Whoops. And we're ready to continue with the next step. Uh, what you do is you take a little bit of string and uh, where the legs are, you want to kind of make a crisscross like so. And uh, fasten the legs. Leave about, uh, about yay much of string at the end. And then uh, do a half hitch loop. So slide it under all the way to the back. And kind of tighten, tighten it. So get the legs up a little bit. This is the part that's fun. Uh, you know me, I, I, I like to play my food. And uh, make another half hitch. So once you reach the end, go ahead and flip it over. Run your string on the other side. Thread it through. And once you get towards the end, flip it over, tie it back onto the end, like so. And with the other end that you have, go ahead and tie a knot. Voila, done. Okay, so here's the chicken, Valentine, redneck chicken. Not that hard, and uh, we have a few of the uh, carcass left over. This will all go into the soup pot, makes great soup. Oh, it's been about an hour and a half. Spray some more water. Looking really good. Our little pitmaster snacks are ready. My little chicken lollipops. I'm gonna get some of my Slapper Daddy love sauce on it. Let it set for a little bit and have a little snack. My little snacks are ready. Looks delish. Super delish. Chicken lollipop snack. And what's Mr. Bean doing? Beans, what are you doing? You want a chicken lollipop snack also? All right, have a little bite here. Don't eat the bone, just eat the meat. All right, there you go. Chicken lollipop or Mr. Beans. See, you hang around Pitmaster, you get lots and lots of little treats and snacks. Okay. We have two hours and 15 minutes. A little spray. Pushing some sausages also on the side. Let's spray it with some, uh, I can't believe it's not butter.
it took about four hours and uh, you absolutely have a beautiful gorgeous hunk of chicken here completely deboned let's see if I can pick up a piece show you guys how beautiful this thing looks here just look at that absolutely beautiful and gorgeous super delish it's got all my favorite flavors including the uh, cream cheese my bologna my hot so hot links and then Jimmy Dean sausage rolled into a roll like this let me cut a piece out here super hot one burn myself Take a piece like so try to make sure I don't eat the string this one's fine a little more string on this one here small pieces here get a little bit of all the goodness of the bologna beans you have to wait all right beans mr beans is waiting for his uh, treat and i'm gonna give it a shot here this piece here so all right super moist delicious a little bit smoky i can taste that bologna the jimmy dean sausage together with the cream cheese a little bit of a bacon in there also super delicious a mm -mm -mm. little bit of breast meat here this one here excellent dish and uh hope you guys like my recipe for the boneless redneck chicken galantine a little bit of uh, french style influence mixed with uh, some of my favorite ingredients so kind of a little bit of a redneck uh, kind of a uh, chicken roll super delicious if you guys like this recipe give it a go uh, i think the fun part is actually deboning the chicken it's really a lot of fun to be able to play with knives and uh, take apart the chicken cook it so that it's reassembled looks like a whole chicken look at this how beautiful it is here whole chicken and uh, bring it out and serve it to your friends and family for a little novelty treat. So now you know what goes on in my mind as I come up with these recipes, combining some of the East and West and uh, fusion cuisine to create some really funky flavors, but it's a lot of fun to make. Uh, if you want to try this recipe, let me know how it came up. I want to give a shout out also to all my Patreon subscribers for helping me keep the lights on on my channel and to continue to kind of help me cover my production costs for making all these videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you who are joining me on YouTube, I also want to thank you for supporting my channel. We are at over 100,000 subscribers and heading towards 200,000. So plenty more videos coming your way. I have at least 500 other ideas in my head. I put out almost 300 videos non-repeating, so that's just a diversity of recipes and things to try. Enough talking about my, my part here. Now let's see what Mr. Beans wants to do with this galantine redneck chicken. I'm so sorry I don't have any footage of Beans eating because I guess the camera shut off after I plated the food for him. But I can tell you that beans really enjoyed the chicken galantine, even though it wasn't brisket. So hopefully we'll get Mr. Beans in the next episode tasting the food. So sorry about the snafu with the beans tasting clip.